What's going on Revolution family, it's Raph Bayel aka Versatile, I want to thank you for watching this video, yeah, thank you, it means a big deal, if you have subscribed, thank you, if you watched all of our previous videos, thank you, if you have commented on our previous videos and liked those videos, then thank you, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, so you do not miss out on any of the video content, that we will be uploading on a regular basis that keep it real raw and rocky to do with all things to do within the African and Caribbean diaspora. So if you've got any questions or any subjects that you would like for us to discuss, then please leave that in the comment section below. Alternatively, you can leave us a private message through our social media pages, which you can see in the description box. So the links to those, okay? So today's video is about do black people rely on mainstream media? Let's stop lumping all ourselves, lumping ourselves together, okay? Because we're all different. Let's be honest, we're all different. In in one African country alone, there's over three hundred tribes. Yeah, and I believe that's in Nigeria. There's over three hundred tribes. They they're different, completely different. Some may look similar, but they're completely different. So, and that's just the word, like nature, like language and everything else there, like it's just nature. There's, there's some things that, it's just nature. Do you understand? Some things cannot be explained other than saying it's just nature. So I say that to say this. To some extent, some black people do rely on mainstream media. They rely on mainstream media from my perception and from what I've seen based on, for example, content or, yeah, based on content and representation. But I'm sure you would agree that if you owned media, a media outlet, you have every right to dictate I'm going to use that word because that's what it really is. You have every right to dictate or direct where that media channel or whatever, where, where it's going, where you want it to be. You have every right to accept or decline people, organizations. You have every single right. For example, um... Here can I use an example. There's two examples I'm going to give. Two, yeah? One the recent one and one in the past. Uh, well, as far as the date, the date of this video is uploaded is concerned. But anyway, listen. Um, Oprah Winfrey, right? Uh, I believe that she says it best, so you can find out from, from her. Just search it. Google it. Um, but basically, she mentioned that she... She went... When she was doing one of her shows... Like one of the KK members, KKK members were on the show in the audience and they didn't, she didn't realize that they were actually using that platform to recruit members. She wasn't, I can't remember the, the full story. So she had to change the mind, her mindset of, okay, how is this show going to go? What is, you know, she, she did certain things that changed the game do you know what i mean so now um yeah so i can't like i said i can't i don't know word for word that's just on top of my head at the moment with the whole oprah situation that is one one thing it's just the fact of knowing what the situation was and knowing that she's in control although it's not although it wasn't on her network that she has now on tv um own network yeah the oprah network Oprah Winfrey Network, ironically, uh, own ownership. I like that. But anyway, so like she, um, yeah, she was more or less in control. Do you understand? Despite the channel not being hers, that it was on that show. But now, do you understand? Look at her channel now. That like, look what, look what she is showing. She had a documentary on. On, on a network called um, Black Love. Like, they need to continue that series. I flipping love that series. 
Like, seriously, it was so infi- insightful to see, like, you, the things you were hear from couples, like, hearing what they've gone through and all that stuff there. It's very inspiring and very motivating. Anyway, not to, not to deter off topic, the second film I'm going to mention is this whole Surviving R. Kelly documentary. Look, I'm going to mention this whole R. Kelly situation in a, in a different video. But the point is, that's on a different network. I haven't watched it, but I believe it was on a network that is actually owned by a white person. There's nothing wrong with that. But the point I'm trying to make is, they have their own agenda. The same way Oprah and her team have a have an agenda. You understand? They have an agenda of trying to put out images that they want to have people to see. It's that simple. Whether it's good, bad or ugly. But it's all about balance. Now, comparing the two, would you agree that ownership is best? Because if you've got ownership, you can control the narrative. If you've got ownership, if you don't have ownership, you don't have control. People can decline you. You may not get that representation. You may not get the content that you want to see. But if you've got ownership, you can control that content. You can control the representation that you believe that needs to be there. So, with all that said, I recommend that you click on the link below. Where it says get involved. Join the online workshops. And when you join the online workshops, it will give you, uh, it will prepare you, should I say, for the revolution that's happening. But not only that, it will get you in the frame of mind of really believing in ownership and living it, just living that lifestyle. Because it's one thing saying it, but another thing doing it. You understand? Because you have to really feel it within. You've got to really do it within. And so you don't rely on mainstream media. Okay, so... Listen, like I said, hit that link below where it says get involved, join the online workshops, be part of the Elite Revolution family. And as always, peace, love and blessings.